In this video, I'll show you how to use the Epson Smart Panel app for Android or iPhone. I'll show you from the very beginning how to set it up and how to use it, every feature. So let's get started. First of all, let me just download it, open, press agree on the lower right side, press OK, press next. Once you see this appearing, press allow while using the app, press next, press allow, and now select your Epson printer. Every Epson printer that are currently connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your smartphone will appear over here in this list. I'll select mine and I'll press OK once I get the confirmation that it's now connected. So we have two different designs of the main page. In my opinion, this one is a lot uh, more simple to use, the one on the right side. So I'll press use styles and I highly suggest you do the same. This is the main screen of the Epson Smart Panel app. You're gonna find your printer on the top and you can actually tap on it and get the ink levels. Over here, it's the waste ink. The waste ink container needs to, needs to be changed once it's completely uh, used. We also have a few more settings of here you can use specific to your printer. So you can do a head cleaning, nozzle check, and even update your printer from here. Now on the main screen of the app, everything is laid out in a very simple manner. If you want to print pictures or documents, select print. Select which kind of document or photo you want to print. Select your file. It will give you a preview and you're going to have a cog wheel on the lower left side. Click on it and now change the settings according to what you're trying to print. At the end, press done and press the print button once you're ready to print. You can also use the scan button if your Epson printer has a scanner like most of them. Press the scan button. You can change these settings and when you're ready, press start. It will take around 12 seconds to get the scan on your phone once you have pressed the scan button if you're scanning at 200 dpi. You'll get a preview of the scan. This preview is not saved. You can delete the preview if you're not happy. By the way, zoom in just to make sure that everything is sharp. You can crop. You can rotate your scan. And if you want to add multiple pages and combine them in one single PDF file, go ahead, put the next page on your scanner, press the plus button and they will be added to this list. Press next. You'll be able to edit the name of your scan if you want to give something more custom. And from here, you're going to have the choice on the lower left side to share it on social media or with your contacts or save, which means that it will get saved on your smartphone memory. Otherwise, on the main screen, there is other features that are not going to be used very often, including document capture, which means that you're going to scan the document using your smartphone. And this is not very useful since you probably have already a very good and capable scanner on your printer. So use that one instead. And you have copy if you want to make a copy. But again, most Epson printers have a few buttons on them that allows you to make a copy in under five seconds. It will take more time to open the app simply to make a copy. Otherwise, we have other features. They have combined them over here. And to be honest, not many people will use them. The more useful one, if you ask me, maybe is Print College, where you can combine multiple pictures and combine them, I mean, and print them on one single page, but otherwise you won't go here very often. Then you have help, which uh, can help you with your printer if you have troubles by showing you the manuals and some information. And then we have some shortcuts down below. And by the way, you can move around these tiles simply by keeping press just like an app. So if you prefer having print down below, you can do that as well. If you want to add a new printer in the future to this app, you have the plus sign on the top where you'll be able to set up a new product or connect a product, I mean a printer already connected to your Wi-Fi. 